Look at all you guys enjoying the sun. Hey, you really like those perches. I'm happy that I put them there because it um, definitely utilizes a lot of space, especially those perches too. They do really enjoy those ones. Nice little cool breeze coming in there for you guys, which is um, it's definitely what you guys want this morning. It's not too hot, but it's not too bad. Ah, I've got to get in here and do a bit of cleaning. A little bit of poop on the shelf there, but um, it's not too bad. These perches, happy I made them too, so definitely keen to um, get the other ones made. I'm looking at doing some probably down in that far section. We've got a small set down there that definitely needs upgrading. I've got some timber left over, so we might even try and build another set of these for very far down the end there. Um, I'm still debating on this section though. I'm, it's an interesting one. I've definitely got enough to make the purchase for in here. But at the same time, I might even, I'm just, I'm a bit torn between having this as just more perches or we set this up as some type of motivation section. It's it's still playing on my mind, but I'm you know, not really rushing into it because we don't really need the space at the moment. The hen, this is open anyway for the hens because the hens um, can come out, enjoy this. I've got all grit pink mineral powder in there for them. And um, let's just check on that anyway. Yeah, so that's nice and full, see? The hens have been right into that. Made sure there's some fresh stuff in there for them so that um, when we do repair them, which we're only going to repair one or two actually. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. That hen, maybe that hen, not really sure. All these hens, the younger ones, will go into this section and we'll be able to start flying again anyway. I'm not going to open this up because these cocks will go crazy. I think there's only one hen in there. They get too, too crazy as it is. So there's a lot of little things I want to change. Hopefully before race season as well. Something I need to start doing as well is start sort of figuring out a clocking system and the ETS for here. I'm going to start doing that so, you know, come, I'm ready for the season ahead anyway. We're not going to race every single race, but we're still going to race quite a few of them. Just got to work around my schedule. I don't even know what my work roster will be next year, but we'll figure that out when that time comes. Let's have a look at a couple of these little babies in here why we are in here i do i'm trying to figure out a way i want to take this wire down i initially i thought it would be okay but the birds still sort of hang on to that wire and it some of them it does fray the end of their tails a little bit so um that's definitely something that i want to look at just trying to change here's our little baby still trying to think of a really good name for it there was one comment saying winter i think winter would be pretty cool because um i don't think i'm going to race this little guy um, might just keep it as a pet because it's going to be very tame. It's just um, such a sweet little thing. I'd say it's going to be a little hen. The post lady turned up, so I have to go get some parcels. Hey, so these little tigers doing pretty well. Mm, a bit of water in there. I don't know about seed. This one, I tell you though. Woo -hoo. So this one. I really beautiful little pigeon this one it's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out it's getting pretty friendly too you can see it's coming over because i think some this one's getting some food yeah, come on. we do have quite a few babies coming over and there's probably another six to come over and then uh, there's heaps in the nest actually like i need to just slow down for a second otherwise we're going to end up with way too many little birds and well, not so little ones like this big guy here so I just need to slow. Yeah, such a beautiful bird, actually. We've got quite a few of these in the nest. Um, actually, as eggs, there's probably three. Oh, there could be more, actually. Now, there could be five, even. I have to double-check of how many eggs of these we've got um, floating. But they are nice. I wanted to make sure that we did test these reasonably thoroughly. Just such a beautiful... That's a big one. This big, strong one. You're going to be good. You're going to win me a race, I reckon. Hopefully. Oh, what are you doing on my boot? You're my little mate, hey? This one, I know there's a few comments saying it's um, probably a bit young to be in here because it's still feathering up under the wing. The issue that I had here with these, especially its nest mate as well, its nest mate it's down in the bottom corner there, he's not looking too well. I'm probably going to have to put him down. But this little guy here um, seems to be doing pretty well. The problem was 
that when the mother went missing and we, I was trying to leave it in there with the father, he wasn't feeding them enough. So they were, they were very disadvantaged and the behind in development wise. That's probably why the other one is a little bit sick. Not so well. And then with this one here, she's pretty good. She's actually probably out of the only two out of them that's gonna make it. She's actually pretty healthy. That's why her feathers are coming under a bit later. They should be, she should be reasonably fully feathered by now. But you can see those guys are younger and they got more feathers. It's um, because development wise, she wasn't getting what she needed, but we're back onto it now. We just had to step in. So it took us a while to get her back on her feet. Not the parents' fault or anything. It's just it's just one of those things that happen. He's a new father, and these things do kind of happen. So, um, yeah, I just need you to hop down and really scratch your arm up there. No, what? You want to come inside with me? I don't think the wife would like that. Come on, go down there. So that's the problem with this one. It, it's fine. I don't think I'm going to race it anymore. I'm going to keep it as a pet because um, probably build you a little separate cage or something. It's got plenty of food in there. This one's been feeding itself for quite a while. And um, it's going to be a beautiful bird anyway. Last of the snow line. We're going to give you a name. I think winter it might be a good name. Someone mentioned that, which is quite good. It's relevant to snow. That was her grandmother. Um, didn't end up having a name for the mother of this one. But uh, yeah, might be a good name for you. It's going to be a beautiful bird. Where eventually when it gets on its feet, and it really sort of sorts itself out a bit. But... Um, yeah, beautiful little bird. We'll, we'll keep look on. Definitely make sure we keep on top of you. So friendly. And then there's this little one as well, which is quite nice. But we do have a lot of little babies coming in here, so I need to just, like I was saying before, I need to slow down a bit, just recount some numbers. I, the thing is, I don't want to be overpopulated. I feel like there might be. A little bit too much in this side so i need to even it out eventually i kind of i really would like 20 birds max per section at the moment i think there's like 28 in this side so i kind of need to even it out that's my plan that's what i'm trying to get to so i'm kind of just out here this morning having a little bit of a think and just doing a little bit of planning with stuff on i get a bit carried away with breeding so we i'm still going to do a bit of breeding but we're definitely going to slow down a little bit um, and I only really breed what I want to test that we haven't tested before. So, um, yeah, we need to definitely have a look at that. I'm still 50-50 about splitting the tiger grizzles up. I know I said I want to, and then I said I don't want to. We may still just leave them by themselves for a couple of rounds yet. I don't want to float too many eggs because I think um, we've got a lot of eggs over there. Maybe we'll go and have a quick look now and just I can count them. Back over here we're in the foster facility, floating facility, whatever you want to call it. Um, going to be a few exciting ch things happening with these guys soon so if you haven't liked their channel go and like it the link is in the description um, if you can't find it there just type in the flock and it'll come up it's a black and white logo with a pigeon on it got their own channel uh, not so much high flies there's going to be a few other little surprises coming soon so if you haven't liked it go and have a look let's take this hen off here for a second just want to have a quick look in here I'm going to keep you guys updated so there was a little bit of a delay in the hatching of these two so they are sort of catching up now very similar size i'm keeping a pretty close eye on it to make sure that both of them have got crop milk in there um, if one sort of overtakes the other one calm down you guys it's too much crazy going on then i might just take one out for a day and put it under another hen or half a day just so one gets food just so they can sort of balance it um, just because there was a little bit of a change there. The, the sizing is definitely catching up though. The one on the right is definitely smaller. So yeah, we've got, she just wants to get back in there. She's, these, oh, she's missed it. So these guys do really make good parents. She's trying to get back in there. And they are very much similar size to a lot of my pigeons, apart from some of the Vanderbolts, which are quite big birds. Um, they're, they're pretty good. So what we're gonna do, we've got two in there. We've got two in there, two in there. There's not two in there. There's two in there, two in there, and then two in that one. So we've got quite a few here, actually. Okay, so we've got about, I think there's about 25 to 26 cooking at the moment, basically. They are in the works. That's not including those ones. So there's probably close to 30, which is pretty good. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I need to slow down a bit. We do have enough room to fit them in across these sections. So probably need to slow down a bit and then we can just do a couple of mixed pairs here and there, which is um, what we need to do. So 
stay tuned i've got some changes to make in this loft uh, a fair bit of work to go on here actually get ready for the season i need to slot pretty much slow the breeding down and just breed a few for stock maybe going forward after this round um basically that's going to be the main thing because i need to shut the breeding off get all these young birds flying and get them all trained because it's probably four maybe five months now before we start um well it's gonna be about four months before we start toss, tossing and things like that and then maybe five months before race season so we can race these ones that we've bred so get ready it's gonna be it's gonna start getting um busy